Okay. Sorry about that brief little stint break thing. Um, my mom had the <clears throat> my mom had the walk at the camera. Back again, know, Mr. Corleone. What can I help you with? I was thinking. I found out about Trixie Trotter. Yes. Apparently, they made her some sort of queen of the festival. Techni, the muse of progress. They didn't. Well, they said this expo would give Hill Valley a reputation. I didn't realize this is what they meant. What have you got against Trixie? It's the idea of it, allowing our city to be represented by a woman like that. I won't stand for it. As a socially conscious citizen, I demand you discharge that muse. Trixie? What's wrong with her? Oh, she's hardly qualified for an honorific post at a public event. Look, lady, she fits the costume, she's an American citizen, and she managed to memorize all her lines. What more qualifications do you want? Oh, these people are impossible. That's all the questions I got. Very well, then. How about you? Have you got any questions for me? Uh, no. Then kindly let me pass. I'm afraid I can't until I've located your registration form. Oh, this is absurd! All right. Hey, up, skew ball. Hey, pal. Oh, jeez, this guy again. Funny, I was gonna say the same thing. Will you be playing piano for Trixie later? Nah. Why not? Cause Little Miss Goody Two Shoes thinks she's too respectable for cue ball these days. You seem kind of angry about Trixie. Angry? Listen, kid, me and Trixie go way back. I know stuff about her that even kid doesn't know. Stuff that curl your socks. Really? Oh, yeah. And now to see her flouncing around the place, making like her stink don't smell, it just, well, it just cheeses me off, you know? So what's so, uh, toe curling about Trixie's past? Yeah, like I'm gonna tell you. Oh, come on. No. Tell you what. I'll tell you something embarrassing about me first. Like what? Well, under the influence of alcohol, my mom made a pass at me. Ooh! All right, Junior, you win. That was pretty embarrassing. Almost as embarrassing as this. Whoa! Is that Trixie? Yep. She's not wearing much. No kidding. She did a lot of these artistic postcards a few years ago. I got a whole set of them. Can I, um, have one? I don't know. You ain't gonna do nothing bad with it, are you? Hey, I promise. I'll only use it for the greater good. Wow. Okay. Hey, what's with your teeth? My teeth? Yeah, they're green. I don't know what you're talking about. Seriously, man, what's going on with your teeth? It's nothing. Nothing. I, I, oh, crap. What's wrong? It's these. Dr. Frinkle's algae cakes? A crate of them fell off the truck while I was unloading it, and uh, I just can't stop eating them. I was, I don't know, they turned my teeth green. Well, the algae part might have been a clue. Please don't wrap me out the audio, okay? I really need this job. No problem, but you better let me keep the cakes. Sure thing, pal. Hang loose, pal. You talk funny, mister. Trixie sure got some nice, uh, antlers. This is definitely something Edna wouldn't approve of. What? <laughs> Trophy. There is a moose. Yeah, um.
How about an algae cake? No, thanks. I'm trying to cut down. How about an algae cake? Yes, I am feeling a bit peckish. Where the hell did you get that crap? The expo. Give me an algae cake to everybody. Don't mind if I do. Not bad. Algae, you say? I'm going to suggest that they add that to the menu at the orphanage. <laughs> her teeth are all green. They look like the color of her teeth, by the way. Uh, for the algae cake, they look like uh, Shrek, Shrek's teeth, kind of. How about an algae cake? Much obliged. Hmm, mm, that was different. Cake. One doesn't normally think of algae as a dessert item, but, uh, what the hell? Well, it's got a very, um, unique flavor. an algae cake. Yeah, that tastes exactly like the slugs I that was pumping into the back of the Citizen Plus board. Take a look at this. Why in the world would I be interested in... Oh, what have we here? Oh, sir, Mr. McFly! It appears your muse has been inspiring more than progress. Trixie? Oh, no, no, no. What are you doing with a dirty postcard? What is she doing in a dirty postcard? I swear, Mr. McFly, if that doesn't convince you that Trixie Trotter is unfit to represent Hill Valley... I don't need you to lecture me about who I can or can't hire, Miss Strickland. Trixie's darn good at what she does. I don't care if she was once the winsome wench of Winnipeg. Her past doesn't matter to... Trixie? What is it, Audie? You know I don't like to pry, but what state did you grow up in? Province, Manitoba. Why? Not even an American. See, darling, the charter specifically states that the Expo's hostess must be a U.S. citizen, so if you're really a Canadian... I'm being fired? You're firing me? I don't want to. Take it back. What? I'm glad somebody's listening to reason. Let's talk. Good. Give Trixie, every give Trixie everything she needs to make Edna jealous. Trixie? I'll do it. I'll make that blue-nosed bitty eat her heart out. That's great. I got it all planned out. When Emmett shows oh, up... I gotta do it my way. Huh? I'm no good with improvising, and I ain't gonna memorize no lines. But I was in this play once. The Parlamaid's Predicament. I figure I could lift a scene from that. Okay. Only, I need a few props. Why am I not surprised? Some furs, a big diamond. It doesn't have to be real, understand? That makes it easier. 
And something from this friend of yours, Emmett. Has he got a photo album? I don't know. Uh, probably. Better bring it to me. Furs, a diamond, and Emmett's photo album. And then? Sit back and watch the fur fly. My future wouldn't be built so shoddily. Uh, hi, Miss Strickland. I was just... Break what you like, Mr. Corleone. It's no skin off my nose. Just keep away from Emmett's booth. Speaking of whom, I'd better go see what's keeping him. Um... I'll go check on him for you. I was just heading there anyway. No, you weren't. The last thing he needs is another distraction at the 11th hour. But... Not, not, not another word. I've got the rest of the day all mapped out. Miss Strickland! I'm sorry, I don't recognize you. Heavens, you've shaved off your hair, but Carl Sagan? I'd like a word with you, if I may. I'm not sure it would be seemly for me to be seen in the company of an alleged arsonist. I think it may be in your best interest. You see. Let's go somewhere where we can talk privately. You hear that? I don't know if you guys heard that well. Um, but, like, I... Apparently my ears are really good because I heard him say, I know what you're up to. Stop talking to Trixie. Oh, you got all the oh, me. Good. Fine, I'll go around the other way. There. Hang on, Emmett. Hope you're ready for a big breakup. Detective Parker. Detective? What the hell is Kid doing here? 
Nothing criminal, I assure you. I was just getting a mind map of Mr. Tannen for our exhibition at the Expo. The authorities wouldn't allow Edna and I to stage a demonstration of the mental alignment meter with a violent felon, but this little baby is just as good. Okay, let's see now, what's next? Check the stools, sort the maps. Ooh, I almost forgot that. Edna really is cracking the whip, isn't she? Well, yes, but... She's got my best interest at heart. Without her, I can get so distracted. Did she send you down here to check up on me? Uh, yes, yeah, she wanted to come herself, but... She's busy too, I know. Well, you're a poor substitute for Edna's lovely features, but make yourself at home. Thanks. No thanks are necessary. Without you, I'd never be where I am now. In love with the woman of my dreams. And a mere six hours from my first public triumph as a scientist. Wait a minute. Six hours? Jumping Jehoshaphat, I'm running out of time! What's this? That's a can of used motor oil, rocket fuel waste, and assorted chemical sludge left over from my abandoned rocket car. Gross. Accounting doesn't enter into it, but it is disgusting. Would you mind disposing of it on your way out? Uh, sure. What's this? The mind map cards from the dozens of subjects I've tested during the last few weeks. I've got to get them sorted before the expo begins. Why? Edna's got this grand scheme to catalog all of Hill Valley citizens by their mental alignments. Isn't that cute? Not really. Mind if I... Go ahead. Oh, we'll again. Ah, oh, that'd be Mr. Needleman's card. I'll just put this in the stack with the other hooligans. Looks like you got a lot of hooligans. Yeah, about 90% of Hill Valley thus far. A little disturbing. Edna was right. Achievement. mental alignment thing work? Here, I'll show you. Hey, the test subject wears this mind mapping helmet which probes the brain by measuring fluctuations in skin conductance and electrical resistance on the surface of the parietal lobe. Uh-huh. When I turn on the mind mapping helmet with this radio switch, the subject is exposed to a series of visual stimuli intended to provoke a series of positive or negative responses as indicated by these lights on the helmet. Hey, is that... As the responses are recorded, they're relayed to this special typewriter, which prints out a punch card that represents the subject's mind map. All I see is a bunch of holes. Well, to you, maybe. But to our mental alignment meter, this mind map is nothing less than a peek into your subconscious. Observe as I place your mind map into the MAM. Lay it back. Is that machine calling me a slacker? No, your own physiological responses did. Want an algae cake? Sure. Oh. Oh. Let them eat um cake. All right, that one's negative for Edna. Let's 
slide of answer. It's yellow. Careful, don't let all the flavor escape. It's green. It smells much better. Mmm, that smells good. That smells good. There we go. Hey Emmett, I think your mind map test is broken. Oh, oh that switch just keeps shorting out on me. No time to fix it now. I'll have to take care of it at the expo. Looks like I'm not going to be doing any more mind maps. I guess I'll test this out and hope for the best. Bingo. Now Emmett's mind map is as bad as Tannen's. Now all I have to do is swap this out with Emmett's original mind map and Emmett's own machine will do them in. Trying to see here, where's the easel it's mentioning? Oh, there it is. What's this? 
That's the placard we'll be putting in front of our booth at the expo. The scientist that caught Kid Tannen? A small exaggeration, but Edna says it'll attract investors. What do you think of the picture? You look a little... constipated. What? Edna said I looked intense. Yeah, intensely focused on taking it. I get the picture. Hmm. But I'll have to find a better one. Unfortunately, there's a lot to choose from. Heavy. Extremely. Mother has been rather obsessive about photographically cataloging my life. Okay, Emmett. Get ready to meet the new you. Hey! What? I almost left behind my mind map card. We're gonna show it off at the expo as a rare example of a model citizen. And to kill me if I forgot that. She might kill you anyway when she gets a look at that mind map. Once Emmett gets to the expo, I'll try to figure out how to get him to put his card in the mental alignment meter. But for now, I better concentrate on making Emmett a slob who cheats on his girlfriend. I'm not so beautiful mind. Emmett's Edna that Emma is a slob. Hey Emmett, I've got an idea. What? Why don't I take your photo album over to Edna so she can pick out your new picture? That's a great idea. She's got a better eye for these things than I do anyway. Thanks, pal. Don't mention it. Hey Emmett, I've got a... Whoa! <laughs> Whoops. What the heck? Oh, geez, I'm sorry. Your, your suit's ruined. Edna's gonna be royally PO'd. Wrong. What? When Edna gave me this suit, I realized that the probability of me keeping it clean was infinitesimally remote. So I spent a few hours whipping up this. Whoa. What was that? A chemical compound capable of wiping the grime off any surface. Emmy, you'll make a fortune. Not anytime soon, I'm afraid. Due to an inerrant instability in its molecular makeup, after 12 hours, the cleanser's component chemicals break down into a series of claw shredding enzymes, rendering it unsuitable for commercial use. Wait a minute, does that mean your suit's gonna dissolve in 12 hours? Hey gods, no. The solution dissipates into the air after it's applied. But it does mean that after this batch of cleanser ages another 11 hours and 53 minutes, it would eat away this suit faster than a thousand starving moths. And that would be a crisis of unimaginable proportions. Why? Because this suit belongs to Edna's grandfather, who wore it on his wedding day. Poor guy was gunned down just a few years later. Damn it. Well, enough wool gathering. Back to work. That cleanser doesn't seem very portable. It isn't, but this is. A perfume bottle? Yes. No. I mean, yes, it's a perfume bottle, but inside is a concentrated dose of my all-purpose cleanser. With a little luck, this should last me through the next 12 hours before its component chemicals break down into a series of cloth-destroying enzymes. Clever. What the hell is that? What? Sorry, I, I thought I saw a tarantula. just thinking about the future. All that talk about Edna's grandfather made me realize something. Please let it be something about lightning. Life can be short, sometimes brutally so. So why not seize the day and grab your happiness while you can? I'm not sure I like where this is going. I was saving this for next Valentine's Day, but why should I? I know what I want. Emmett, no. I'm gonna ask Edna to marry me right now. No! Oh, right, right. I'll wait until tonight at the expo. It'll be much more romantic that way. Just think. By this time tomorrow, Edna and I will be engaged and will be the toast of the scientific community. And I owe it all to you. You're welcome. Hey, Emmett, got a sec? 
Why, yes. In fact, I've got several. You can't marry Edna. Why not? You're too young to get married. Nonsense. Back in the old country, a man my age already have two kids and a farm. Besides, what's the use of waiting when you're in love? There's someone better out there. Trust me. I know you mean well, but look at me. I'm an awkward teenager with poor social skills and a predilection for prattling on about obscure scientific minutia. Frankly, it's a miracle that one woman has found me desirable. It could be decades before another one comes along. There. I was waiting for it to unlock for I choose another dialogue, dialogue option. An uncomfortable truth. Let's just drop it. Fine. You look busy. Why don't we talk later? Sure thing. Emmett? Yeah? Did I say I want to talk you to Emmett? You get back to work. We'll, we'll catch up later. Thanks. Stop. No. Hey, um, go. I've got to go out for a while. I thought Edna sent you to make sure I wasn't getting distracted. Oh, you'll be fine. It's a good thing I did this before I missed 12-hour time limit, where the cleanser might have dissolved the fur. Let's slip out of those furs, shall we? 